Considering the year 2000, you got to go into the scriptures because the Lord said what? This is Luke uh, 17 and 21. And he said unto his disciples, the days will come when ye shall desire one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. Right? That was the fulfillment of that. Right? Everybody was hastening the day of the Lord, which you should always be in a mindset of hastening the day of the Lord. But always, the Christian church always puts it off. I never heard them have any urgency with them talking about the day of the Lord. Never. Even when I was a little kid. And, and it's weird because I used to lock in. Right? Used to lock in when I would, would hear them uh, start actually reading the scriptures. And the only times I would start do dozing off is when they started rambling. As, as they do, but, you know, you're going to try to scrutinize us for hastening the day of the Lord. Well, what about the scripture? Maybe certain things that you need to read to understand what that means. Right? This is in the book of Jonah. Um, you're going to go to Jonah for first chapter first. Right? This is Jonah 1 and 2. It says, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it. For wickedness, wickedness is come up, up before me. Right? Now you go down to the ninth verse, and it says what? And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew, right? I fear Yahweh, the power of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry land. All right, so this is just a little backstory, a little back information. This is Jonah 3 and 2. Arise, go to Nineveh. It says, I'm going to start at 1. It says, in the word of Yahweh came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh that great city and preach unto it uh, the preaching that I, I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the word of Yahweh. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days journey. I'm going to jump down a verse. Yeah, I'm just keep going. It says, and Jonah began to enter in the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, yet 40 days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Right? So the people of Nineveh believed the Most High and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even unto the least of them. Right? So they started repenting. But there was a time frame, just like you were saying. They were, they were uh, the, the, the old breakdown, right? Which was, was incorrect. Was, they were talking about the year two, 2000 would be the year that the Lord makes his return and puts these devils in subjection and these Edomites into slavery and Jake get deliverance. Now these are all still things that are prophesied. Esau going in slavery, Jake getting, getting uh, deliverance. This is written in the scriptures, right? The only thing is the time frame was off. We're getting close to those days right now, right? Now when you jump down to the ninth verse, You jump down to the, yeah, I'm going to go to the ninth verse. It says, uh, no, the 10th verse it says, And the Most High saw their works, and they turned from their evil, that they turned from their evil, and the Most High repented of the evil that he had said, um, that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. Right? So was Jonah a false prophet at that point? He told the people 40 days, 40 days was over, and it was all good. It actually even went, uh, I believe it was like something like 40 or 50 years, 80 years down the line or something like that. Now, I got to get the exact time frame, but it was well down the line, well past 40 days, right? But was Jonah a false prophet? 
You gotta answer these questions, man. Because when you go, when you go on, right, you gotta go into the book of Tobit. And Tobit tells you when it happened because I was looking it up, right? It's from a website called worldhistory.org. Great website to get some uh, back, back understanding of uh, history and everything in the scriptures. It says biblical Nineveh in 627 CE, the era was uh, the site of the Battle of Nineveh, right? The divisive Byzantine victory of the Byzantine Sadine, uh, Sassadine War, 602 to 628, right? And when you go into Tobit, Tobit was written in the in the second or third century. So this is this stuff happened in the sixth sixth century. So that's well down the line. It says this uh, this uh, uh, this engagement brought the region under the Byzantine control until the Muslim uh, conquer, conquest in sixteen in six thirty seven C E. Right, I'm gonna jump down. It says. It says the city was best known through the Christian era and still is by the central role it plays in the book of it says in the biblical book of Jonah. The book of Jonah was written between 500 and 400 BC depicting the events uh the events from from hundreds of years earlier in the re reign of the Hebrew king Jeroboam 786 to 746 right so it was well before these things were prophesied that actually happened so if the fall happened in 602 to 628 right then this fifth century and fourth century is talking about fourth and fifth century is talking about right where the book of jonah was written was well well before the actual destruction. So was Jonah a false prophet? You got to answer these questions, man. You Christians are so, man, it's, it's, it's like you're so quick <laughs> to call brothers false prophets because of the 2000 thing. But here it is, the plethora of other things we go into now and the understanding that we have now, you won't even recognize. It's, you, you, you all are, are, are shameful, man. Now, when you go here, right, and I'm going to get a precept out of the book of Tobit, let's get that first. So I can. Let me hit this real quick. Keeping with the park for on there. And you go to the book of Tobit. The first chapter. And it tells you the book of Tobit, the word, it says the words, uh, the book of the words of Tobit, the son of Tobiah, or Tobiel, the son of Aniel, the son of Adul, the son of Gabiel, the son of Asael, Asael, I mean, of the tribe of Naphtali, who in the time in, uh, of in, in Masser, which is going into Salamanasser, king of the Syrians, let, was led captive to Tishba. Tishbe, uh, which is the, which is at the right hand of the city, which is called properly, uh, properly Naphtali, um, in Galilee above a surf. Now verse three, I Tobit walked all my days, all, all the days of my life in the ways of truth, justice. And I did, uh, many alms deeds, alms deeds to my brethren my nation who came with me to Nineveh into the land of, of the Assyrians, right? Going into the captivity, going into there, right? Of the tribe of Naphtali. So this is when the split, this is during when the Assyrians first took them away, right? 
And they grew a great nation. They got a little bit of lenience. They were making money. So they got to chill. Joshua Warren waxed fat and kicked. Right? Now, he tells you he was in that time frame in Nineveh. Now, when you jump down to the 14th chapter, let's go there. In the fourth verse, Tobit 14 and 4, it says, Go into media, my son, for I surely believe that those things which Jonas, going into Jonah, the prophet spake in Nineveh, which we talk about Nineveh, right? That it shall be overthrown, and that it says, in that for a time, uh, peace shall rather be in media, right? Because what the media, the Medes, the Persians and the Medes took over the Assyrians, right? That's why that 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 time of peace would rather be in media. It says. And that our brethren shall lie scattered in, in the earth uh, from that good land. And Jerusalem shall be desolate in the house of the Most High. And it shall be burned and shall be desolate for a time. Right? So he was telling his son straight up, hey, man, the words of Jonas is about to, Jonah is about to come to pass. And when you jump down to the, fourth, uh, to the 15th verse, right, it says, it says, uh, but before he died, he heard the destruction of Nineveh or Nineveh, right? Which is talking about Nineveh, which was taken by Nebuchadnezzar and Ahasuerus going into Xerxes. And before his death, he rejoiced over Nineveh, right? So what about Jonah? Because this is well, well after Jonah said these words about the destruction of Nineveh. So was he a false prophet? Answer that question, right? Ultimately, the destruction still came. Just the time frame was pushed off, right? So yeah, you could have gone off within the time frame, but hey, were the words off? Nope. Because America still will be destroyed. Esau still will go into slavery. And Jake will still be the rulers of this earth. The elect of them first. Right? So you're going to have to answer these questions, man. I'm going to put that in a comment too on this. The Lord willingness is edifying. I'm going to say, call all y'all. How about you, man? Shabbat Shalom.